Good morning, everyone. How are you all? Fine, ma'am. Good morning. How are you, ma'am? I'm, I'm doing I'm great, fine. my dear students. Thank you, Thank you very much. How was I hope your all day? of you are ready with your literature workbook part two. Please yes. make sure about it. Yes, that's great. We have already completed modules uh, seven, eight, and nine, right? So today we are going to start with the next module that is module number 10. Module number 10. 10. Okay. Module 10. For the same, I want all of you to be on page number 40. Page number 40. 4040. Page number 40. Module 10. Okay. The first exercise that we are going to understand about is on homophones. Homophones. The sound may be, or the word may be a new word for you, maybe, but doesn't it sound a bit similar to something that we have already discussed many times? Are you able to recollect? Words having the same sounds. We have discussed that multiple times, right? Homophones are words. They are words, just like the other words. But the um, specific fact about these words is that they sound the same. They sound the same, but have different meanings and spellings. Homophones are words that sound the same, but have different meanings and spellings. A few very simple examples are C and C. S-E-E-C -E and S-E-A-C. These are two different words. Are you able to hear me well? Give me a thumbs up, all those who can hear me. Give me a thumbs up, all those who can hear me. Yeah. Okay, fine. S-E-E-C. -E it's a word that is used to tell about something that we are able to see with our eyes, right? And the second word, S-E-A-C, -E is a huge body of water, a huge water body, right? S-E-E -E and S-E-A-C. They have the same sound, C. But they have different meanings and spellings. Let us go to the next example. R-I-G-H-T, right? And W-R-I-T-E, right? Once again, these two words have the same sounds. Right. Both are to be read as right. But... They have different meanings and spellings. R-I-G-H-T, right, is the name of a direction. Plus, it is also used as uh, a word that has a meaning. Correct. Correct answer. Yes, you have given the right answer. Your answer is correct. And the other word, W-R-I-T-E, is an action word, right? Action word, which shows or tells us about the action of writing. Yes, Sahirish, do you want to say something? Ma'am, I have like them studying the poem. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Uh, we can discuss about that later. I will ask you. Okay, thank you. Good. Yeah. I think you must have got some idea about the topic that we are going to discuss here in this exercise, right? Have you got some idea about it? When we solve the exercises ahead, then your concept will be clear about homophones. Let's begin exercise 2.1. Here we need to fill in the blanks with the correct homophones from the options given in the brackets. Okay. Agnel Gills, unmute your device and read the first example. Come on, quickly, don't take too much of time. I'm feeling happy. Mm. Dash, I'm feeling happy. I. Both the words are I, my dear. 
Out of these two, which one am I supposed to take? Ma'am, first. First one, that is the capital letter I, right? Yes. Yes, okay, very good. This I, capital letter I is used to speak about ourselves, right? Me, myself, I, okay? And the other one, E-Y-E-I, is the name of a body part, right? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Agnes. Hedelin, try the second one. Mariam saw hmm. a dash. Mariam saw a dash. Complete it. After that. How to... No, Sorry. no. Mariam saw a dash. After that, complete dash. the sentence. In the hopping oh. in the park. Hopping in the park. Do you know what is hopping? Yes. What is hopping? Jumping. Jumping with Jumping. both legs together, right? Jumping together with both legs. Hmm. Yes. Jumping yes. using both the legs together. The first okay. one? Oh. First one? Yeah, answer is the first one. Are you trying to say that? Yes, you're right, Adeline. Very good. The correct answer is the first Thank option. You Can you tell me the name, uh, another name for the hair? What is the hair all, all, also called? What is another name for hair? Think about the story of the hair and the tortoise. What is another word for hair? It has two long ears. Rabbit. Rabbit, Rabbit. Yes. Rabbit, yes. Very good. When I gave the clue, you were able to recollect. Right here, Hedelin. Thank you. Thank you. Aisha, unmute. Try the third one. Ali dash how to tie his shoelaces. Hmm. Ali dash how to tie his shoelaces. Three options. Nose. Hmm. Nose. Nose. Which one is the correct answer? Second. Which one? Second one. No. The second one. You are right. K N O W S. K N O W S. Nose means to have the knowledge of doing something. K N O W S means to have knowledge or information about how to do a particular work. And N O S E is a part of her body, right? A part of her face. Nose. Okay. Thank you, Aisha. Very good. Johan, unmute. Try the fourth one. Radha mm -hmm. only half the sandwich. Ah, Radha dash only half the sandwich. What is the correct answer? Eat. Eat. There is no word eat here. I want you to read both these options. Eat. Eight. Eight. So out of these two, which is the correct answer? Eight. Both are eight, my dear. Tell me the spelling. Which spelling is right? A-T-E. A-T-E. Yes, you're right. Johan, tell me A-T-E-8 is the past tense of which word? A-T-E-8 is the past tense of which word? Eat. Eat, yes, you're right. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Johan. Renfred, try the fifth one. I need a new dash of shoes. Mm. Pair. Second one. Second one, you're right. Can you tell me the meaning of P-A-I-R, pair? What does it mean, P-A-I-R? And unmute. A group of two. Items. A set of two. The same. A set of two. Yes. Two same things. Yes, you're right. Very good. Thank you. Adrina, the unmute. Try the sixth one. Please put your device properly. I can see the fan above you, not you. Yes, sixth one. Yes, ma'am. Mm. My the hair, one. Yeah. 
and Tom. Mm. And Tom. Mm. Fed. First, the dash. Mm. At the. At, at the. Mm. At the. D O O zoo at the zoo at the zoo. Uh, what do we get to see at the zoo? D the zoo is a place where we keep animals, right? Animals. Mm. So, what is the correct answer? D. Which one? Both are the same word. The pronunciation remains the same. Second. No. G E A R. G A. That First is one. Uh, a word that is used for a loved person, a person whom we like. Dear, my dear children, the teachers always use the words, right? My dear children. Yeah. First one. First one, yes. That is the name of an animal. D E E R. Dear. Okay? Yeah. Thank you, Adri. Did all of you complete writing the answers? This is very simple, right? Okay. Let's move to the next exercise, 2.2. .2. Puzzle. Complete the puzzle with the help of the hints given below. One is done for you. Okay. Now, there are two columns, across and down. First, let me inform you that across means from one side to the other side, across. And down means from top to bottom. Okay. Clear? Okay. Let's do the first one across. Catherine, unmute. First one, mm. which? No, I want you to read the sentence. A woman with magical powers and a ho home, homo? A homophone. 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 A woman with magical powers, a homophone of which? Uh, do you remember what are homophones? We discussed it just now. Words with similar words that have the same meaning. Mm. meaning? Same sounds. Oh. Words that have the same sounds but different meanings and spellings are called what? Um, what are what they called? Homophones. 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 Okay. So the correct answer is? Which? Which w spelling? I what is the spelling? W-I-T-C-H. H. Okay. Very good. Now, I, I want you to continue with the third one because the first one was already done. Do okay. the third one also. Across. Two. B. Third one, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Across. Two. Read it. Two. Exist. To exist. To, to exist. exist. And a homophone of? One of B. Mm. To exist means to be there. We all exist, all of us exist on earth. What is that word? It's a homophone of B, B E E B. And the word is three across. Find out where three is. Three across breathe. from one side to another word. Uh, breathe air from the mouth. Of no, no, no. Catherine, listen. You didn't give me the answer to this. To exist. What is the word? B. B E B. E. B. Be a good boy. Be a good girl. Means to exist as a good boy or good girl. To exist. Understood? Yes. Okay, Catherine. Fine. Thank you. Thank you. That was a little tricky. 
but we need to just think and do. Aradhya, unmute. Try the fourth one across. Fourth one across. The name of a flower. Mm, the name of a flower. The homophone of a rose. Oh, uh, a homophone of rose. R O W S. Rose. Yeah, spelling. R O S E. Mm, four across. R O S E. See the position. Otherwise, there are chances that we may go wrong. Okay. Yeah. Very good, Aradhya. Thank you. Thank Rohan, you. Rohan, unmute. Rohan, can you hear me? Unmute. Try yes, the first one down. Uh, how if hmm. something is hmm. a homophone of of weight? Weight. A homophone of weight. How heavy something is. What is the word that we weight. use to speak about something weight. heaviness? Weight. Spelling. V e i. V e. W e i. W e i. G h t. G h t. Right. Weight is the word that is used to speak about. the weight or how heavy someone or something is okay good rohan thank you gizel unmute try the second one yes ma'am down second one a unit Is a it a unit of ah. time? A unit a, of time. A unit of the time. Mm. Read it. A homophone of. A homophone of our. Mm. Of R. A homophone of R. O U R R. That means it has the same sound as the way word R, but it is a unit of time. See here, H dash U R. Two down, two down. Check two down. H dash U R. What is the word which is a unit of time? H dash U R. Yes, Gizel. A unit of time. This is so simple. How many dash do you take to reach home? What is the word to be used there? Unit of time. H O U R R. H O U R. Okay, Gizel. H O U R. Did you understand? R. An hour is a unit of time. Okay, thank you, Emmanuel. Unmute. Try the last one, number three down. Three yes, down. Breathe air from the mouth. A Breathe the air. Uh, a, air. A homophone the of blue. Blue. B L E W. B L E W, very good. Iman will tell me. B L E W, blue is the past tense of which word? Blue. Hmm? Blue is the past tense of which word? Blue is the past tense form of which word? Green. Hmm. B L O W, blue. blue. Ah uh, yes, the past tense of blow is blue. Okay, good, Emmanuel. Thank you. When we blow air from the mouth, the past tense of that blow is blue. B L E W. Okay, 
Now I want all of you to move to the next exercise that is module 11. Module 11, this is a very, very simple exercise based on the alphabetical order. Alphabetical order. This is a topic that you have been learning since UKG, right? Am I right? Arranging the letters and words in alphabetical order. What is the alphabetical order? It is the systematical arrangement of the letters of the English alphabet from A to Z. And if we need to arrange the words in the alphabetical order, we have to check the first letter of each word and arrange them accordingly. If the first letter of two words is the same, we need to check the second letter of the words and decide accordingly, right? But very important is to arrange the words in alphabetical order. The first one is done for us here. Coconut, knocked, patch, excitement. Check the first letters of each, first letter of each word and arrange them in order. This is a very simple exercise. So I want all of you to try and do this on your own. Hmm? You have to do it on your own and show it to me. So we are not doing it here in the class. This is a very, very simple exercise which you have done multiple times, right? Yeah, hence I request all of you to move to the next exercise that is module 12. Module 12, page number 70, 70. Here we are going to discuss the names of certain musical instruments instruments that are used to play music but we may not be very familiar with the names of all of these so let's uh, put in an effort to understand these names okay the options are given here images are given here observe the images try to choose the correct name of the instrument from the options esther tell me the name of the first yes, musical instrument Class is the first instrument. Uh, yeah, first one, what is its name? Class hmm. one. Yeah. Ma'am, third yeah. one. First one. Ma'am, third. Read it. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. Tell me the answer. What is the name of the first instrument? Ma'am, fourth one. Read it. Read the word. Don't tell me third, fourth and all. I want you to read the word. F-L-U-T-E. Flute. Flute. You said fourth one, right? Yeah. Try to read it. Yes, you are right. It is the flute. F-L-U-T-E. Flute. Flute. You are right. Okay, sir. Yeah. Agnes, unmute. Try the second one. Tell me the name of that musical instrument. Man. Second one. No. One. Tabla. Tabla, yes. T A B L A, tabla. It's the tabla. Okay, Can thank I you. Know? Andrea, tell me the name of the third instrument. Andrea. Andrea, unmute. Andrea, can you hear me? Unmute. Unmute. Andrea, unmute. Unmute. No, she is facing network issues. Okay, yes, Andrea. Tell me the name of the third instrument. Yeah, tell me the answer. Do you know the name of this instrument? No. At number three. 
No? Okay, wait. Mm. Mahadevan, unmute. Mahadevan, tell me the name of the third musical instrument. Do you know the name of that instrument? What is it? Can you hear me? What is the name? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Uh, hmm. You can take help of the options given. Which is this one? This one. Third one. Yes? Uh, uh, hmm? uh, yeah. Harmonium. Harmonium. Hmm. H A R M O N I U M. Harmonium. Okay, Mahadevan. Aiden, unmute. Try the fourth one. Mount C. Sitar. Sitar, yeah. Sitar. S I T A A R. This musical instrument is the sitar. Thank you. Niveda, unmute. Try the fifth one. What is the name of that instrument? Guitar. Very good. Spelling. G. Hmm. U T G U I G U I T A R Piano. You told me the other one also. Okay, Nived, you are right. Thank you. P I A N O. Piano. Not piano. Piano. Okay. Hope all of you have been able to complete. Yes? Okay. Let's move to the next one. Shine, unmute. Yes, ma'am. Exercise 2.2 .2 is about the names of various occupations. So what we need to do is observe the given images and choose their correct names from column B. Yes. Tell me the name of the first occupation. Uh, As for the number. first picture, Shine. Plumber. plumber. Yes. What is the work done by the plumber? Working. Mm. The Repair the? Repair the? Uh, taps and pipes and all, right? Tap and, ta tap and pipes. Pipes, okay. Try the second one. Second one. Tailor. Number two. Sorry? Tailor. Tailor. Very good. What is the work done by the tailors? Stitching. Stitching. Stitching what? what? Stitching. Say it completely, yes. Shine. Stitching clothes, right. Stitching our clothes. Thank you, what? Shine. Very good. Thank you. Agnes, unmute. Thank you. Try the third one. Unmute, Agnes. Unmute your device, my dear. Yeah. Third one. Librarian. Librarian. Yes. Librarian. A person who takes care of the library. Do you know the, do you remember the, who remembers the name of the librarian at our school? Do you remember the school library, going to the library, reading storybooks there? Do you remember doing all that? Yes, you must be missing doing all that, right? Don't worry. In some days, you will be coming back. At that time, you can enjoy all that once again. Who remembers the name of the librarian at school? Yes, Aradhya? Try. Unmute. The name of the librarian at our school. Yes, ma'am. Yeah? Do you remember? No. No. Okay, I will tell. It's Bindu ma'am. Bindu ma'am is the librarian at our school. Okay. Yeah. Anna Maria, 
Anna Maria, try the fourth one. Yes, ma'am. Identify the occupation. Fruit fourth seller. One. Fruit seller, yes. Fruit A person seller. who sells fruits. A person who sells fruits. fruits. Thank you, Anna. Fruits. Ayuga, fifth one. Yes, ma'am. Fifth mm -hmm. one. Identify. Okay. Mayuga. Uh, what happened? Identify. Look at the uniform. Look at the given options, the remaining ones. Only two options are remaining. Actually, there is no need for the options. By looking at the image itself, you must be able to understand. No, yes. Why did you have a doubt, my dear? Nurse. What is the work done by the nurse? Helping the doctors in taking care of the patients, right? Yes. Yes. Mm. You, must, you must be able to say in one glance itself. Okay, my yoga. Be confident. Come on. I know that you know it, but you were thinking. <laughs> okay, fine. Thank you. I think. Yeah. Jessica, unmute and tell me the last one. Number six. Who's that person? What is the work done by him? See, he's carrying some yummy dishes with him. Yummy, chef. tasty, chef, not chef, chef. Repeat, chef, chef. chef. Uh, the work done by chef. a chef is preparing new and delicious dishes, tasty dishes for yes. people to enjoy. Right? Um, okay, yes. Jessica, good. Good girl, thank you. My dear students, may I stop sharing? I think all have been able to do the work, right? Yeah, good. Now, there is some time left. Why don't you uh, complete that alphabetical order exercise now itself? Come on, do it. Yes, that is so simple. I'll tell you the page number 55. Go to page number 55 and do it in front of me. Don't be in a hurry. Do it very carefully. It is easy, doesn't mean that you will do it in a hurry. Adidev Nair, Amazia, Catherine, turn your videos on. Okay. Adrina, the unmute. Tell me the answer to the second one. Ma'am? Yeah. Second one. Exercise 2.1, page number 55. I want you to tell me the second answer. I don't have the page. 55. Have you done it? Ma'am, I have no the page. How come you... This is the English Literature Workbook Part 2, right, Adri? Yes. Then, is it missing? Yes, ma'am. 55, 55, 55, 55. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, fine. Uh, don't worry. I'll send it in the notes. At that time, you can go through them. All right? Okay, ma'am. Aisha, can you tell me the answer to the second one? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, ba tell me. Mm. Dagger. Mm. A dagger mm. is a kind of knife. Knife. Okay. Mm. A little longer than the normal knife. Green. Mm. Then? Helmet. Yes. Basket, dagger, greedy, and helmet. Did everyone get the answer in the same way? Okay. Yes, Aisha. Very good. Thank you. Yes, sir.
Try the third one. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Friend. Just tell me the correct order. Friend. Yes. Neighbor. 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 Hmm. A relative. Hmm. Uncle. Uncle. Yes. Neighbor. Neighbors are people who stay near our homes. Neighbors. Okay. Yeah. Esther, your answer is right. Very good. Agnel Gills, try the fourth one. Agnel Gills, unmute. Fourth yes, one. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Ma'am, sorry. Hmm. Fourth one. Answer. I'm sorry. Sorry. The minister. King, queen, minister, soldier. Look at it carefully and tell me the answer. King, queen, minister, soldier. Which one will come first? Alphabetical order. King. Sorry. King. King. Yeah. After that. So. So. A, A, B, C, D in your mind. Then you won't go wrong. I told you in the beginning itself. This is a very simple exercise. But there are chances that you may go wrong if you are not careful. So avoid being in a hurry. Which one will come after King? Agnel. I, J, K, L. Minister. Minister, right? Yes. M. M. After that, then which one will come? King, minister, then? Queen. Queen, yes. And the last one? Soldier. Soldier, yes, you are right. Okay? So do it carefully, my dear students. All right? Yeah, please complete it. We will meet in the next class now. It is time for me to wind up the session. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.